Back in the summer of 2001, there was a pool of generational talent bubbling out of high school. However, that year, the talk was all about one player, a player who many thought would run the NBA. No, it wasn't LeBron James. That player was Lenny Cook. During his junior year in high school, Cook was America's best two-way player, averaging an impressive 25 points and 10 rebounds to go along with his two steals and two blocks per game. He kicked it up a notch his senior year with over 31 points per game. However, Lenny Cook also struggled in school, and he became academically ineligible to play in his senior year after only eight games. He was forced to end up playing in pickup games and tournaments, but at this point, Cook was a healthy number one prospect with an all-time high draft stock, ranked ahead of LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Amari Stoudemire. So what happened? Later that year, Cook participated in the 2001 ABCD camp matchup. Cook was the name in New York basketball back then. He was also the defending MVP at camp, and many expected him to repeat. However, it was at this point when LeBron James became the number one prospect. The two played against each other in the camp, and LeBron James would end up hitting the game-winning three-pointer over Lenny Cook. Sonny Vaccaro, the founder of the camp, said it was one physical moment that symbolized the beginning of LeBron and the downfall of Lenny Cook. LeBron James is simply the greatest 15, 16-year-old kid I've ever seen in my life. He has a chance, when it's all over, to be one of the greatest players ever to play the game. In 2002, Cook scored 21 points in the EA Sports Round Ball Classic at the United Center in Chicago. His performance ranked him fourth out of prospects his age, making his NBA dream possible again. Cook would be recruited by several top colleges, including North Carolina, Seton Hall, and St. John's. Then, a few months later, instead of playing a year in college, he made himself available for the NBA draft straight out of high school. Lenny was pressured by many agents who said numerous NBA clubs would take him in the draft if he was available. Unfortunately, this backfired when no team picked him up leaving him as an undrafted free agent. Because he hired an agent, Lenny couldn't go back to college. The 19-year-old had to start over and couldn't dream nearly as big. Lenny Cook bounced around the NBA minor leagues and reached the Celtic Summer League team. Unfortunately for Lenny, this would be as close as he would get to the NBA. Lenny Cook would then go on to play internationally in the Philippines and China, but several Achilles injuries put an end to his playing career. While Lenny Cook missed his opportunity in the NBA, his peers LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony went on to become NBA All-Stars. LeBron went on to earn over $300 million in NBA contracts alone, not including his alleged billion-dollar deal with Nike. In 2004, Lenny Cook also got into a really bad car accident that put him in a coma, and he almost had to have his leg amputated. Months and years passed and Lenny Cook became really out of shape and ballooned to over 300 pounds. I stopped working because everything was starting to be handed to me and the ego got to me and the press, the media, you know what I'm saying? And I stopped working, you know what I mean? I just thought it would never go ahead. Lenny Cook's story would go on to be depicted in a documentary shown at the Tribeca Film Festival in 2013 and was produced by his friend and NBA player, Joe Kim Noah. Remember the story of Lenny Cook. In fact, the success of LeBron James can truly be appreciated by his tragedy. Who knows what would have happened had he managed to keep on track during his youth and be allowed to reach his full potential. Today, Lenny Cook is an assistant coach at the Atlantic City High School and often speaks to kids about his experiences and the importance of education. Uh, my freshman year at high school, I just thought about it and said, this is what I want to do. In one of his recent speeches, Lenny told kids, my message today and every day is academics should come first. At the end of the day, when you talk about a student athlete, the student comes first.